Today we have a very special guest. He's all the way, all the way, all the way from Canada, and you know he lives in states when he was still doing his going age, you know. And he makes a lot of great music. And I slide into a DM. He was like, "Yo, bro, let's do it and down for it." He's a very, very cool guy, and he makes a lot of cool music. And upcoming, there's a lot of cool music project is coming up. So we today we have Brandino as our guest, and so let's welcome、It's、Brandino.、Sure. Hey, what's up, man? Good, man? What's up? How you doing, dog? Doing good. I mean, so to benefit the audience or the listeners to today, they're listening our podcast today. Would you like to introduce yourself? All right, my name is Brandino. I'm an upcoming artist here in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada.、Um, I haven't been doing this for too too long. I just started. I actually released my first single and. January twenty twenty one this year, and I just kept going and improving and led me here. So I guess that's a great thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah.、And、I was blessed to meet this guy right here. He's really cool. So I、yeah, appreciate that,、in. man. So for for those like who who wondering how I came across with friend, you know, actually, you know, there's something weird all about the algorithm because <laughs> I love rap song and I love quality rap song. So when I came across to Instagram and I was scrolling through, you know, with story that some advertisement things goes on, right? So I was like, yo, what is this song? I was like, okay, fine. <laughs> I was just scroll through, and no, 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 it sounds good. Then I goes back. I was like, oh fuck, man, this got me like crazy, <laughs> and I started streaming from, um, your release is around like. A month ago, right? If I'm not mistaken, so、It's、just about a month now, yeah. Yeah, just about a month. So I was, I was started to streaming was like twenty days ago because when I started to click again, is on my fucking Spotify like song, and I stream it for night and night, day and day, and it's it's really <laughs> catchy. It's really catchy about overtime, you know. It's really nice song. So, I mean, I kind of, I kind of feel grateful that I came across with you as a really cool artist, and you know. You you said you just started up and you actually you made a lot. I mean, at like at least you know like brief, over time and it's a really cool project and yeah, you. So I was kind of wondering like, is there anyone inspired your music? Ah,、uh, I had an interview a while back on YouTube. Um, and what really inspired me to start going was uh. There's another rapper from Chicago. His name is King Von. Okay.、And、I used to listen to him all the time, and he ended up passing away. He got shot in、oh. November, and I was like, "Oh man, like I already listened to a lot of his music. Who am I gonna listen to?" So I was like, "You know what? Let me, you know, try、I'm、this music stuff again. Yeah, I'm gonna try to do it myself." And like. Like I tried doing music back in 2019, but nothing really came of it. I wasn't really interested, you know what I mean? I didn't know how to go about it. Yeah. And this time I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try it, see what happens. And I just said, you know what? I'm really gonna take advantage of this and keep going and learning about it. And literally, that's that was probably my biggest inspiration. Like I always wanted to do music. I just didn't know how to go about it. <laughs> you know,、I、you just... know, yeah. Like I, I, I kind of understand because you know we we love music and we always try to make some music about ourselves, right? So it's it's kind of really hard things if you have a high quality in yourself, I guess. Yeah, it took. I mean, it took a while to like build up to that, right? Because like, so a lot of my music is about self improvement and being a better person. So.、Yeah. Um, I just needed to know how to channel that through my music. I think, and it took me a while to figure out how the best way for me to do that. So yeah, it was like pretty much just practicing and practicing and trying different styles and stuff like that. And that you know,、um, is that your breath? Is your I mean, brief is your first song that you have released? Ah、uh, no, actually, the first song I released was called. Trials, 
But I ended up taking it down because I did like a whole rebrand and I revamped <laughs> after my music got better. Okay. I was like, it was like a learning lesson, right? To go back and say, wow, this is where I came from, right? It was not the yeah. greatest, but a lot of people still showed me love for it. Yeah. And um, as time went on, like, as I kept making better music, I started deleting the older ones. And Breathe was actually... Yeah, so yeah. That's, that's the good things, right? We we learn from the things that we first... I mean, not not not, not say that, that the ever project that we ever first published is, would be the best, you know, but there's a lot of people that are showing us support in our very first or what we call the first project that we have ever published in our life. So yeah. I guess the love and support from the people around us or maybe just like strangers in the internet that were like dropping like, oh, bro, this is fucking dope. It actually acts as like a motive. Yeah, uh, it's like a motivations, and it it makes yourself feels like there's a really um improvement in yourself, and so that you will not disappointed the one who supported you, right? Hundred percent. Like if it wasn't for that support, then I wouldn't be where I am today. But at the same time, I wasn't really doing it for the love for other people. You know what I mean? I was just yeah, doing yeah, yeah. it for me to get better. But, like, as people started seeing that, they're like, whoa, like, okay, he's actually yeah. sticking to this. And, you know, I really take my craft very seriously. So it's like people start seeing that and they respect me even more, right? Yeah. You know, when you try to do something, um, when you have determined to do something, right, actually is that way that you started your path. Because you say, like, you have decided and you have, 100% confirm that you take really serious way in your path. So in your career, I would say, right? It will be, eventually it will be your career, maybe as a rap, rapper and, you know, as a singer. So I guess it's more about like how you, um, how you perceive all the things that you have been through and what puts in your music, right? So um, I have a questions like, what I mean, what inspired your music? Like, what the ideas it inspired your music? I'd say for me, my biggest thing is self improvement, right? And a mm -hmm. lot of the music mm -hmm. I make is coming from like a perspective like I, 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 right? So, yeah. pretty much, I'm like a living example of someone that had the dark days and you know, dealt with anxiety, depression, confidence issues and stuff like that. And being able to overcome that as time comes on, right? And yeah. as the older we you know, as the older I got, at least personally, I just felt like I just have to be a better person each time. I just gotta keep trying to be better no matter what. And I think that's like the overall like message that I want with the music, right? So the would you say like the most impi inspirational ideas that came across to you for for a better project is it's more about your life experience, isn't it? Exactly. Like I wanna make someone that's been through something pretty much understand they're not alone when you you know what I'm saying you're going through stuff, and just to cast a light on it to show you there will be better times. So I try to even if it's a touchy subject like. I try to put it in like a really upbeat kind of song. So like over time was actually really deep if you think about it, but it was really upbeat. So, yeah. you know, it's like, it's like overcoming something. And that's pretty much the vibe that I go for every time is to go through something and overcome it. It's always like, a, you know, a, a clear ending or a sunny day. Yeah, you know, that, that's the point that you have mentioned that um, over time, you, you say it was like kind of dark song, right? But it's, it's, an, it's an upbeat song. So actually, it makes me feel like, um, that's my perspective. I mean, like, that's my opinion, right? When I listen to it. it, it's like, it's very catchy. And it feels like there is some, I don't know, maybe it's like an upbeat song. So it makes me feel like it's, it's kind of full of hope. And, you know, you, you just, just want to groove with it and you feel like, you get charged when when you listen to that song because it's like it's, it's I I don't really um so uh I don't really um know about the lyrics 
but somehow I heard why I mean like I mean not not my majority I couldn't understand I mean like it's just part of it I don't really understand but it somehow gave me a point it's like it's a life lesson and mm-hmm. teach about like how how we going through things just like what you say like overcome and things and self improvement and all of that right 100% yeah so so for for in the terms like um you 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 say that you want to be a better artist or you want to like improve yourself and self improvement right so did did you did you start up your you say you took down your first song right and did, is that time that you had started up your label no oh the around the time that I took down trials was Yeah, I think it was a little bit after that because I had a few songs releasing around that time and okay. uh, I pro- I was releasing about one to two songs a month. Mhm. Up until around like April, May, and then I ended up saying, "Okay, my sound's changing now, so I'm just going to I'm going to just package everything up. So when I actually wrote Breathe, I wrote Breathe back in March. Okay, and March. I wrote it in March and released it in July. So I ended up just rebranding everything for Breathe. So I took down all the other songs and started pretty much making a more consistent sound going forward. I don't want to throw anyone off, but At the same time, I had it on SoundCloud so that anyone that wanted to track that see my progress of how good I've become over time, they could also check, right? Yeah. So, I mean, for for all the listeners or the audience here today, if you guys are really interested in Brandy Knows Music, I will put all his link down in the description below, description box. So, you guys can just check it out. I will put up all his web links, his Spotify, his YouTube, his Instagram. So, I will really want to make sure that please check out this guy. His music is lit, okay? And yeah, let me bring back to this, you know. Um when th- when did you actually start um A No Shame Record? Uh I started it in I started getting everything ready in like March. Around is that your own label? Yeah. I'm independent. Right. Okay, so, okay. Um, I pretty much run everything. If it's not me, it's my girl. So mm. it's pretty much yeah everything I do for myself. So I can, I feel like I have to because in this day and age, it's is here we are, right? Yeah, that's what I think about. Right? We we can do it all ourselves. The only difference between a big label and a small label is money. That's money good. Money and access, right? <laughs> so, uh, that that's the things that's the things i mean that's the things that we're looking for that's life that's, yeah that's life you know um so uh you were starting making music you you say like you wouldn't really into it until recent years right so what what do you think like in currently in this industry would you think that There's a lot of rapper they actually putting a lot of hard effort but they don't really get recognized. Yeah, I see a lot of that but I also see a lot of the lazy rappers. Yeah. And being in this I guess I'm a little bit it's a little yeah, it's it's crazy to think about but I don't want to be neither of those, you know what I mean? I want to actually yeah, yeah, make yeah. something I want to actually make something of myself. So whatever mistakes they're making, I want to know so I can avoid it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of these guys um, that could have been way bigger is because they're signed to a bigger label or the guy. And they also... have, yeah, they have some ghostwriter. I would say. <laughs> Honestly, but that's the thing, right? If everything is yeah. not authentic, I feel like you're lacking more for your brand. Like personally, for me. I try to be as real and authentic as possible with everything that I experience and in my music. That way, I don't have to lie about it. And 
anyone that's really relating to what I'm going through will actually love me and opposed to someone just me begging everyone to like me. It'll be people that actually like what I like. You know what I mean? And they'll actually yeah. rock with me. That's that's the best thing. You have, you have mentioned some things that I really think is important. So you have given up yourself like 100% authentic and real. I would like to say that for all those who listen to your songs or the projects or the artists that they have paid up their real effort, actually the listeners, the audience, they actually knows that you guys are paying hard effort because they can feel the authenticness, you know? They can feel like yeah. the enthusiasm between you and your projects and people will feel the real real things in the project that you guys have released. So this is really important that... Um, you being yourself is 100% authentic and people will really feel it. And for those who really wanted to support you, they will support you until the end of the day because you're releasing a good project and you are doing good work and hard work. So this is really important. And yeah, I'm not really into the industry because I wouldn't say, I mean, I have zero knowledge about it, but I've heard some of the rumors of like, we, we watched all the news, right? So... Uh, I'm not sure whether it's this good to be discussed, but what do you think about people always criticize nowadays all the rappers are like mumble rap? You know what? Like, things are changing. You know what I mean? And yeah. the, the mumble rap, it's, I wouldn't even call it that anymore. It's more melodic than anything, right? Because they're yeah, not yeah, really, yeah. they're not trying to say the hottest thing they're actually trying to catch the best vibe yeah that's the thing you know so i can't criticize creativity is creativity right there's yeah there's always someone that's gonna love what you do no matter who you are so mm. the goal is to always find those people and like you know what i'm saying my music will not resonate to people that's 60 or okay. it may not resonate to people that's 12. I don't know. But yeah. it's like when you know mumble rap is for like the newer generation of people that just trying to catch a vibe and feel good. Yeah. That's, 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 that's what you say. Like it's the more catching vibe song. It's not like old, old. I wouldn't say old school rap is not good. Okay. I'm saying that the generations is changing, like what you mentioned, exactly. and what people want to, uh, what people want to try to get the vibes in the song is different. So back then, the old school rap was really hardcore, I would say, and yeah. it's just like words to words. They put up all the phrase. So we have really, I mean, we still have some of the rapper nowadays as a really famous rapper. They are doing like what we call somehow it's an old school uh, rap which they use words to bring up their things just like J. Cole right J. Cole is a fucking lit rapper mm -hmm. it, it couldn't deny that he's fucking lit but you know there's a lot of people who saying that um, Lil Pump is like a really mumble rapper but I would say like just two different genre and it's just the things they want to um, represent their song is different right 100% yeah and you know, I was I was really into I wouldn't say mumble rap is bad, like really. You know, that that's a fun fact. My my there's a lot of people think I'm fake, but I actually love Six Nine song. Yeah. <laughs> his music his music hits different, man. Honestly, like yeah. even before the whole thing went down, I used to bump all his music like heavy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, cause his music gives you that energy, like it's like and part and it's party party wild song, you know, like you go to yeah. it hits really hard. Yeah, it makes you wanna wild out, you know what I mean? Just <laughs> ah! <laughs> Yeah you boy. Crazy. You, you just you just feel like you release yourself and the his song is kind of have a, really have an energy to put out yourself in a wild way. I wouldn't I, I you, you know what I'm saying? Like it's really so interesting about his songs. But you know, after all, after the whole whole thing shits have bumped up, right? And he got released, and there's a lot of people trying to criticize him. Of course, I know in the rapper culture, what he did isn't appropriate, right? But yeah. I wouldn't say it would define that the hard 
work or the effort that he put it in his music project. We couldn't, because of that, that deny that his hard work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, his music still, it slaps. You know, <laughs> I, I don't really listen to his music like that anymore. I, I don't really have time to. Um, what he did personally was not a good look. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he messed up his He messed up his image completely and... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> but he still have a ton. He still has tons of fans, and the thing yep, is, yep. he's still a he's a really smart guy. So he knows to go to whoever supports him, and he's yeah, just gonna he has, be. He's, he's, he's re- always been a troll, right? So he's gonna keep. Yeah, he's gonna keep pressing. You know what I mean? <laughs> his image is just trolling around, and you know he got his fame. He got the things that he's won. You you know. And yeah. he he really enjoyed the things that he's doing. So, I mean, why not? But I, I, I'm just scared that, you know, one day he will just like other rappers. So I, I hope that's, there's still something to get improved in him. But yeah, speaking of that, right? I mean, all the culture now, all the rap culture now, uh, that's not really famous in Asian country, of course, if compared to Western country. So actually, dude, oh, Oh yeah, actually, do you listen to any like Asian rap star or rap song? I haven't heard any. Oh okay, okay. Because it's because it's not mainstream, honest. right? That's yeah, why it's not like, really mainstream. Yeah, I don't. I barely even listen to like anything that's going on nowadays. Like the last, I probably listened to like two or three of Drake's new songs and maybe like mm-hmm. the same amount for even Drake uh, Kanye's Donda's album. I haven't really listened to it fully. Like, I just don't have the time, man. <laughs> yeah, you, you know are so busy, saying? man. Yeah, yeah, I got a lot of things to do. Plus, I got to work on my own craft. So if I'm listening, I'm listening to hear, you know, how they do their flows and how they deliver the whole album and stuff like that. And that's pretty yeah, much it. Just like what you said, it's all about self-improvement and you hit the one that you want, like the quality you're looking for yourself and yeah. the requirement you set for yourself is all about study, research and not try to copy but learn from them and get inspiration from them. Because, That's true. Yeah, they are big. They are big. They are popular. There's, yeah. There must be a reason why they can hit so big. So no, of course true. there's a lot yeah, there's a lot of people there's a lot of things that we have to learn. You know? Yeah, there's these guys be a reason why I hit them. I'll be honest, like from my research just being an artist, like it usually takes like four to six years for an artist to actually blow up. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? And <laughs> a lot of people don't a lot of people don't see that when someone comes out of nowhere they think oh this is their first song or something like that it's not the case these guys have been releasing music for like the last you know four or five six years and now yeah. you know what i'm saying they've made it to the point where their fans and audience push them further and they become yeah. mainstream yeah or they are really mainstream now <laughs> yeah you know, like back then when I was listening to rap music, I was a big fan of uh, Melly, YNW Melly and yeah. X. Yeah. I am their hardcore fans. I mean, I feel so sad like when I X passed away that time. And I was like, if he is still here, will he be the one of like what we so-called mainstream? I don't know. Because I would say a good music... Um, it would deliver the the artist himself feeling towards the people who are listening to them. Yeah. That's what we call... I, I guess in my definitions, this is what call called good projects. Because yeah. whenever we listen to a music, we're not just catching the vibe. We're actually trying to feel what the song is writing about, right? And yeah, I feel so sad. Like, X got killed and... Melly is still in the jail. I'm not sure whether it will, will he be released, but they both write uh, good songs. That's the things I, I'm kind of into them. It's crazy yeah. to see how X grew though. X grew really, grew really quick. And... He blew up in really short time though, and yeah. it's like 
<laughs> it's over over blue and that's one thing i would before that i wouldn't i didn't know that x actually using shiloh shiloh sync things you know like yeah. his he yeah you know, shiloh dynasty is the things that i really wanted to know that <laughs> but yeah it his his or her i don't even know is a his or her about shiloh so yeah that's the things i i mean there's a lot of good artists out there and they are paying really good effort so i would say like if you paying good effort and hard work i mean you there will be a one day there will be blew up just continue doing it because we never know even though drake right we you know when when he released patient fruit it's a fucking lit song but there's not much people know about him at that point of time so it takes of course it takes times and opportunities i would say right yeah it so, all like here i know passion fruit was a huge song yeah here. man it was, over here it was huge but i've been listening to drake since i was in high school oh like i've yeah. been listening to drake for years like just hearing his progression back when yeah. he was like lit with Lil Wayne and those guys, Nicki Minaj, like that's a long time ago. That's a long time ago. And he's really making his progress to become a better art star and he did it, right? Yeah. Yeah, you know, like um speaking of that, uh we let's we let's bring back to your to your hit song that I can't really help myself, you know. I really love overtime. <laughs> I really, really love overtime. <laughs> And I was like, I suggested to my friend. My friend was like, "Yo, bro, what the fuck? Is there any? I mean, it's been a while since like we listened a song, who give us a really strong feeling. You know, there's a lot of song. Yeah, we we can we we can feel the vibe, but it's not like we feel it's really late. I would say, and over time, it's a really piece that I think is is it okay? Is it the most uh stream track that you have now? Is it over time? Yeah, it's actually I never had a track do so much numbers. <laughs> Which, bro, that's mean you're good. I mean, you're really doing good project, man. It's really good, and it's crazy. It's that, like, so, yeah. um, it's just crazy to think about because I wrote that song really quick, like, like I said, in like two hours. I was just like really motivated. I was like. Let's do this, and I wrote that song really quickly, and I released it like a week and a half later. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I didn't even I didn't even sit there like I usually like plan my music out like a month before I released it in like a week. You no, know, so, sometimes it's just yeah. Sometimes it's just the idea pop in and just bump into you, and you know it. It's really late. Like let you know what. Let me try try to let me uh, know more about overtime. Can you share about like uh, the making of overtime? Like how what inspired you to write overtime at a point of time? Oh man, um, I, it was around the time I had just gotten my own recording equipment at home, okay. so I was literally just learning how to use it still, and I ended up catching a vibe. Like I was like, oh yeah. I found a beat and stuff. I have a producer here, Matthew Beats. He he sent me a beat and I was like, okay, I'm gonna try to, you know, record this at home. And I started messing with it and I, you know, wrote some I wrote I just kept, you know, dabbling with words and yeah, I was yeah, just yeah, yeah. Uh, I was like I'm going the jamming nowhere. with all those what brainstorm. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> I've been losing my mind going no. And I was like, yeah. I was like, let's run that back. Then I kept writing to it, and boom. Within like two <laughs> hours, the song was done, and then I brought it to my engineer, and he mixed and mastered it. And like yeah. in a week in a week and a half, I uploaded it, sent it out, and it was out. <laughs> <laughs> like two days it in. It just and it's blew like, up. And yeah, I just kept. You know, I just kept promoting it, promoting it, promoting it, and it hasn't fully been a month yet, and it's almost at like, almost at nine k streams. So it's I'm sure crazy. it's gonna, it's crazy because I was not expecting that. 
It was actually supposed to just be a filler track for me to drop a bigger <laughs> song. <laughs> and now I haven't even dropped that song anymore. I was like, forget about it. It, it turns, what this it turns out does. this is the it turns out this is the big track and the hot track, you know. It takes place. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep promoting this. <laughs> yeah, I mean I mean I mean the promoting works, you know, because yeah. it came across even to my region. We are so far away, even even came to my region and um there's a lot of people who love rap music in Asia countries. So I would say this is a really good piece and yeah, you you deserve the pride, bro. You deserve the pride because it's a really Appreciate lit song. It. Yeah, you you know, I even you can you fucking imagine when I'm sleeping and listen to that song? <laughs> it's like it's like, you know, I have a speaker beside me, right? So I stream it, I listen, and I fucking lay in my bed. I was like, over oh, over oh, time, bitch, I'm knowing no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's oh dope, my god, man. you know. Yeah, that's really dope. I mean, it's a really good song. So um you know, we, we have been trying to, we, we know more about your, we knew about your making, right? So would you try, would you, would you let me know that um, actually what is the song that actually write about maybe your life experience or what is that situation that inspired you about Overtime? Like all the lyrics. Um, yeah, pretty much Overtime is like talking about working hard, like you're going over, mm. working overtime to get, over your bad habits and coming out of the dark yeah. and stuff like that. So, yeah. like I said, it's a dark song, but it's a lot of light to it, right? So, you know, I was just, it's pretty much, most of my songs is like about relationship and putting, like, just coming from a dark place, like going through breakups, a lot of people don't. Like, like oh. to not, like, you know what I'm saying? And I even yeah, said bro. it in there, you know, like, relationships teach you a lot. Yeah. You know, it, sometimes it brings you in a dark place, but every time you come back, you're like 10 times better than before. You know what I mean? You just yeah, have when to, you go to you the have lowest to go point. through it. When you go yeah. to the lowest point, you will just bounce back even higher than your current life. 100%. I... Yeah, you, you remind me of this because I'm going through a heartbreak like in past few months and I actually wrote a song and it's it's really, I mean, I would say it's really inspiring like how breakup bring us into a better positions, I would say. Because we couldn't, we it's, it's okay, it's tragic, okay? I will admit it, it's tragic. No one thinks that breakup is a good thing that you have to celebrate because it's tragic and you actually learn a lot of things from there. So, yeah. you know... We have been we have a lot of inspirations of about creativity. It's all about relationship, I would say. A lot of it is, cause well, here's the thing with relationships, it's principles, right? There's principles yeah. and stuff to relationships and there's principles to everything in life. So a lot of things you go through in a relationship, you can tie it to different parts of your life, right? Cause yeah. there's a reason why it didn't work. Lack of communication or you know, lack of empathy and stuff like that. You're too selfish. All those things is like those are things that you need in life. You can't be yeah. selfish in life. You can't. You know what I'm saying? You have to know how to communicate with people and all those things. And like one thing I always preach, and I used to, I'm probably really bad for this, but I'd say, yo, like, if you ever wanna, if you ever wanna upgrade your life. Break up, <laughs> like just have a break. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> I, mean, ever... <laughs> I mean, yeah, hey, bro. I mean, it's real, okay? Like, yeah, let I know. It this it's, way. it's bad. I know I said it, but like, yeah, because but here's the it's... thing is because those feelings they force you to change your habits. They yeah, force you. I, yeah. I mean, you got the point. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it's it's really if you want to upgrade or you want to feel better of yourself, break up. <laughs> because Honestly, because it's gonna yeah. it's gonna teach you something. Yeah, because yeah, it's yeah, gonna yeah. probably be the hardest thing you ever done. But that you only do it if 
obviously something is wrong. Don't break up for <laughs> yeah, no reason. I mean, you know, not, not you just know like out of, a, out of nowhere. Bro, I got to broke up. If I thought I'm going to fucking upgrade my life. Your partner was yeah. like, what the fuck, bro? What do you mean? <laughs> exactly. If you have a solid relationship, you worked on that. But if it's yeah, obviously, like, if it's toxic and it's not working, it's not worth it. Because a lot of people lose their self-esteem and they stay with a person because of that. Yeah, 100%, man. Like, if you are working on, if you are in a relationship, work on it. I mean, if you find a significant one or a compatible one, actually, you can learn and you can grow yourself, you know, if you find exactly. the right one. Yeah, so, I mean, for those for those who are really in a relationship, <laughs> yeah, keep it on, keep it on. <laughs> don't, don't fucking break up, man. I mean, just just break up when there's something wrong. Yeah. So, okay, like, Another and another hand, in on another hand, for those who like you really think that the relationship is not work at all, just fuck it, you know? Just yeah. break up. Just there's no you, point in being there, just leave. Yeah, just like, even though just... yeah, even though you have tried, I mean, before before you break the relationship, I mean just try to fix the problem, okay? If you are not if you are not even trying to fix the problem and you just break up, it wouldn't help anymore, no matter like in what kind of aspect. Like you have met some problems in no matter it's in a relationship or a life problem, you wouldn't want to solve it and you just instantly escape it. They wouldn't work in your life and it wouldn't benefit your life at all. Yeah, no. You have run. to learn. Yeah. Hmm. You have to solve the problem. If not, it's just like a fucking loop and it's a rabbit hole. You wouldn't yeah. you wouldn't solve. You wouldn't solve it. So yeah, like we agree, we agree that breakup <laughs> it, 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 it like it brings a much more better positions of ourselves. But yeah. So you know, like, um, speaking back of overtime, do you have any, like, hope or do you do you see, like, overtime in, in how, where do you see overtime in few years? You know, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, it's, it's going to blow up for sure. It's going to keep going. Um, I'm working on a project right now. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. those, it's overtime on steroids. Right. Whoa. So it it means gonna pumping hot, huh? <laughs> those uh, overtime is gonna is gonna benefit off of that because those are gonna go crazy for sure. Yeah. So you know, like you have mentioned to me, like around which one you will release your music project, right? So would you tell my audience here or the listeners of this podcast that um, when would you like releasing? I mean, around what time ETA? I'd say in the next couple months or so. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to. <laughs> uh, I don't want to give. I don't want to give it out yet because I'm still <laughs> okay. planning everything out. But uh, yeah, 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 yeah. expect it soon before the end of the year for sure. Okay, okay, okay. So, you know, check out Brandon. <laughs> he said like it's an overtime on steroid. You know, you have to. You have to. You have oh, to know. Man. Imagine that. How hard is that pump it? Because, no, it's, man, it's not gonna be like that though. It's it's gonna be more emotional. It's gonna be. Yeah, yeah, it's, gonna, yeah. it's gonna take you deeper. Like overtime was a really hype song, but this time we're bringing it, we're digging it to the to the dark place. You know what I'm saying? We're heading there. We're heading to a really dark place. Yeah, in a sense that what I'm saying like is, um, you, you would mention like overtime in Sarah. I mean, like in Sarah, in, in the terms that it actually brings out a more late projects. It actually uh, bring out a more blew up. Musics, yeah. I mean, in terms of steroids, I mean, those these are more deep, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So yeah, yeah, yeah. they're going to hit you in a different way that Overtime hits you. Yes. These, these are the ones that if, if you love Overtime, you will love them like, too. <laughs> these ones, you're welcome. You're going to get uh, sucked into to the dark uh, place there. To a dark black yeah. hole. <laughs> Pretty you know much. What I'm it's gonna be it's gonna be a journey, and I want my music to be a journey, just like with overtime. I have songs similar to overtime that I can release, but I'm taking a step to the side to present something bigger. So you know, um, bro, like, um, I sincerely hope that you you put up. I mean, you of course you put a lot of hard works and effort to a project, right? I sincerely hope it it will it it will become a blue up project. Don't worry about it, and it will be a really lead and you know catchy and popular songs. And I hope that you will blue up in very soon time because you deserve it, bro. 
the pride and the reputation that, and everything and the quality music projects i would say there's a lot of people can't even do that even though they are really fucking famous now <laughs> i i hate to put up so i mean i hate to put the words up here but this is true like there's a lot of people they just all about fame and it's it's just got pushed up and they got nothing inside themselves is 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 like empty. empty so yeah. yeah it's empty so i was like i really hope that you release when the moment when you release your project and i will be able to listen it and i hope i mean it will be a really late project so please keep it up man i'm really looking sure. forward in in you and i hope that there's one day i can flew to canada and look for you and we just have a catch-up session you know of course <laughs> of course one day, and you one know day. what and you know as time goes on too like when shows and stuff like i haven't done my yeah. first show yet but uh we're definitely you know definitely gonna have to have you pop out to a show yeah, so. and we definitely have to do this again too you know yeah. what I'm saying? Maybe we can do it next sometime next year. We can do another one just to see where we're at. Because I know yeah. gonna, this podcast stuff is pretty dope too, man. And I'm gonna keep tuning. I'm gonna keep tuning into it, of course. Of course. Yeah, I appreciate that. Like it's it's real because it's hard to find some things to feel authentic and genuinely feel this is a good thing. So. Yeah. That's that's some rappies, and I would say you. Of course, you are one of the rappies that I have listened to. I mean, yeah, kudos to you, man. Kudos to you. It's really late. Appreciate that. And man. yeah, and I guess we have come to the end of the sessions today. So before we end this session, Brandy, no, I mean, like, bro, do you have anything to tell my audience here or the listeners in the podcast here? Everyone that's been tuning in, I appreciate every single one of you guys and. Just know there's a lot of new music coming soon. Make sure you keep tapping in with my boy right here because, you know what I'm saying, these podcasts are A1. You know what I mean? And yeah, man. Thanks. I really appreciate that. Yeah. Keep streaming over time. You know what I'm saying? And make <laughs> I sure will. you follow up. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So it's like what I mentioned earlier. So for those who are really interested in Brand, Brand you know, his music and his projects, I will put all his links be in my description box so for those who listening in audio platforms like spotify google podcast i will have his instagram and his label instagram there so feel free to check him out to look for a really good better quality of songs or music projects so we have come to the end of the session yeah we have come to the end of the sessions today if you like our content so far and you think it's really interesting feel free to like share and subscribe and comment down below, you know, comment down below to interact with us. And if you think there's any topics that you want us to discuss about. So before I end this, I would like to say stay safe, stay healthy, you know, everything. And care about your 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 people around there. And yeah, we will see you in a bit, man. Thank you. For sure. Take it easy, man.